Hello, everybody. Luke Shoulder, Field Grounds for Beck Tyber. You know, in a year in which corn dry down kind of came at a premium, what were some of the management practices that ultimately impacted grain moisture at harvest? You know, one thing that we've seen throughout our research and throughout PFR is we continuously see an advantage to supplying that first pass of nitrogen with the planter. Okay. Now, that may not be convenient for many of you. However, we found through our research the most efficient way of supplying that early season in is when we supply that in a two by two, or in our case, conceal on both sides of the row. And that was kind of demonstrated in our starter fertilizer study this past year. So as early as July, we could start to see some differences in this study. In this study, we're evaluating two by two versus in a couple of different products. But by mid-July, we could see an developmental advantage to those passes that had that two by two of nitrogen with the planter over in furrow because it was tasseling sooner. Fast forward another week, July 22nd, further evidence that it was developing at a little faster clip, those two by two applications were, because you can see with the branches of the tassel, there's no longer anthers being shed. Pollination has pretty well commenced where we use conceal or two by two. As opposed to in furrow, 40, 50, maybe even 60% of those anthers still were shedding pollen, meaning that corn was a little further behind where we just use in furrow. We thought that would potentially articulate into drier corn at harvest, and in fact it did. You can see by the data in front of you, anytime we used UAN or two by two through conceal, that corn was anywhere from three tenths to about three quarters of a point drier as opposed to just the in furrows. And it was significantly drier than no starter at all. But better yet, it was also a yield advantage. And that is actually what we've seen very consistently. That's also demonstrated in the two studies that I'm showing you here. In these studies, we're evaluating a couple different things, whether it's systems or does a hybrid's root expression make a difference as to our nitrogen placement, proximity, and timing as well. And the thing that continues to rise to the top throughout lots of our nitrogen studies is when we put it in the ground, when we're not relied upon Mother Nature to incorporate it, specifically through conceal in, in our research, we can ensure that we supply early season nutrition, we allow that plant to synthesize chlorophyll and ultimately keep that photosynthetic factory fed the best we can. And that usually articulates into higher yielding corn. Not every year, but it's also never hurt us. Now you may be saying, well, why is that? I certainly don't wanna slow the planting process down. Why wouldn't I just use weed and feed? And I think there's a couple reasons, about three in fact, proximity or placement, concentration as well as moisture. When you think about 60 pounds of nitrogen or 20 gallon of weed and feed, that 60 pounds is broadcast across that whole soil profile as opposed to concentrated right beside that row. That young, small developing root system doesn't have to go very far to find that concentrated source of N versus the dilution that occurs when it's across that entire profile. So that's more about that proximity and the concentration, but also soil moisture. This past season, like you uh, observed, June was very dry. The vast majority of nitrogen gets in the plant with water. So we're heavily dependent on soil moisture to get the nitrogen in the plant. And as it takes in water, it's also taken in nitrogen. Doesn't require a lot of nitrogen when it's concentrated right beside that row, even with a small root system to ensure we meet the needs of that crop. And that's the why. So as harvest is concluding for many of you, uh, some of you may have been done for a couple weeks now, and you start to evaluate your inputs for next year, specifically nitrogen, I'd encourage you, don't ignore early season nutrition, specifically nitrogen and how much it not only impacts yield, but also growth, development, and ultimately maturation. So as always, if you have questions around this topic or any other, give us a call. Have a happy Thanksgiving.